It's interesting to note that the Latin root of discipline, and most of us think of discipline as to punish, but the Latin root comes from disciple or to teach. And the Latin root of parent is parar, which is to prepare. And I love being aware of that because one of our real mindful targets as parents and teachers is to teach and prepare kids to go out into the world to create powerful results. So when we know that, we can be super observant of who am I really and I'm here to prepare and educate and catch ourselves when we find ourselves slipping into that I'm here to diminish, I'm here to punish, I'm here to put them in their place, I'm here to control and start to become aware of what we're actually doing take a deep breath and bring ourselves back into balance and realign with the target. I was taught this by a couple different students along the way. One time when I did my very first labyrinth walk, I taught the whole group of people, there are no rules when walking the labyrinth. If you come up with rules, notice because that's part of what you're seeing in yourself. And then this little girl started running through the labyrinth all around and making, you know, just gleefully having a great time. And I unconsciously found myself going over to her and saying, Honey, this is a meditation. You want to walk this quietly. After she had just heard me tell everybody there are no rules. And in that moment, I had this aha because I was practicing self-observation and I caught myself, unfortunately for her, just a little bit too late. I caught myself correcting her when I realized that had an adult been doing that, I would have just let them do their thing and allowed everybody to see what the metaphor or the message or the learning was for them. But with a child, I was working in the school system at the time, all day long I spent telling kids they couldn't chew gum, you have to walk in the hallways, blah, 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 blah. And here I am on the labyrinth telling this child she needs to slow down and essentially stop having so much fun. This is serious spiritual business. I still send apologies to her energetically, whoever she was. It was a huge lesson for me, though, so I hope she forgives me because I suddenly realized that in my ego mind, my job was to control. And that is not at all what my spirit was there to teach or why I was sharing the labyrinth or why I was working in the school system. It was to inspire, to educate, to uplift not to control and diminish and bring down. So it's a huge aha 